Hello friends, this is Chandan Kumar from India and this time I have come with another tutorial and the subject of the tutorial would be something like this. This is a floral design animation and uh, you might have seen this kind of animation before in uh, different motion graphics scenes. You may even uh, have some of uh, ready-made floral animation templates. But at some point in your life, you may find such a situation where you have to make your own design. Maybe your client doesn't uh, like your already made templates and uh, he has his own design that he wants you to follow. So at that situation, my uh, this technique what I'm going to tell today uh, could be helpful for you. So let's start and uh, first of all, uh, let's move to Photoshop and uh, here I open my floral design image. I have taken this image from uh, internet uh, but if you want to make your own version you can design it in a Photoshop. Um, since this uh, tutorial uh, could be a very long one and uh, in fact it is a time consuming job uh, <clears throat> you have to uh, make lots of layers in uh, Photoshop. If you see in uh, After Effects, um, you may find there are lots of layers have been used here. See, uh, there are lots of layers here. Uh, so, uh, I'll, I'll not cover the whole uh, part, but I'll tell you for sure how to uh, move on. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, first of all, uh, make a duplicate layer of uh, this main layer and hide this for the security purpose. Um, now select uh, this layer and uh, take the magic wand tool and delete the white part. I want to work on this part only for now. So I don't need anything else. Uh, so take the eraser tool and erase all other parts except this one. Erase it uh, carefully. No spot should be left. And now concentrate on the technique. This is a very old but fundamental technique of animation that is frame by frame work. Now select the eraser tool and erase the tip part of this curve a bit. And uh, Save it as part 1, uh, let's say uh, part 1 and uh, I'll choose PNG file format because I want transparency also. Okay, now you can uh, zoom in a bit for a better view. Now again it is some part of the curve and save it as uh, part2.png, save. Okay, so therefore you need to erase this curve one by one, frame by frame and keep saving it in a sequence and in .png format. <coughs> so keep doing it guys, it will take some time. Hey, uh, till now I have saved lots of frames, I have been saving it one by one. So now uh, let's move to uh, After Effects and uh, let's make a new composition, Pal G1 and OK. Let's import the frames we have saved in Photoshop. Click on one, PNG sequence and open. It has come in an image sequence format. Drag it to the comp. Uh, let's scale it down a bit. Right now, uh, the busy color is black. Let's change the busy color with some red one. Now, you can see the curve clearly. Now, if you press play, uh, you will see something like this. The animation of the curve is happening, but it is in the reverse direction, anti-clockwise. We have to change it clockwise, exactly opposite. So just select the layer, 
right click on it time and choose time reverse layer and now if you play it you will see that the line is being formed very well and the right direction and this is how the traditional animation is done frame by frame now I'll tell you how to add an animated leaf with it for it uh, let's move to Photoshop again uh, this is the original image as a background let's duplicate this layer select this layer pick the magic wand tool select the white portion and press plate I want to keep only this black part so select this by the magic wand tool now press ctrl shift I to reverse the selection and just press delete hence you are left with the, only this black leaf part now save this as a uh, let's say uh, leaf one dot png okay now move to uh, after effects bring that leaf one and drag it to the comp resize it a bit so that it should come over the curve now what I'll do uh, at this point of time uh, does the line process it I'll change the anchor point of the leaf so just uh, pick the pan behind tool and uh, try to relocate the anchor point to here now um, if uh, I'll scale it up or down it would act like this so it's a uh, so let's animate it give the first keyframe and uh, make it a zero now at this point when the curve comes here change the value of a scale as uh, 38 actually uh, give more than this let's say 48 and at this point of time give the value uh, of 38 again so now if you uh, so now if you uh, play it you will find something this kind of animation now in the effect and preset uh, search inward and drag it to the curve layer and do the same to the leaf layer also now you search uh, for tint and uh, drag it also to the curve layer and hence you have the independence to give your desired color to the curve and you can do the same thing with the leaf layer also just copy and paste the tint effect for the BG uh, make a new solid layer and you can choose whatever color you like I choose a uh, red color okay and put it beneath all the layers pick the paint tool and make a garbage mask around it give some feather now give some uh, glow effect to the curve and the leaf layer also actually it totally depends upon you what kind of glow or shine or lens flare or anything which could enhance the overall look it totally depends upon you you just play with the options you just play with the plugins you have with you and if you follow the same steps you can get something like this I admit that uh, this method will take a long time but once you do it you can use these different layers on many occasions and hence you can create your own custom animations just give it a try guys this method can lead you to some more different and interesting ideas I hope you have liked it you have enjoyed it thanks to hear me have a very good day bye bye